Hello everyone. The creator of Zany Train sent me a sample of Rustin Dustin, a brick-built character on a chassis compatible with Lego and other similar plastic brick brands. Rustin Dustin comes with his own set of building instructions. The build is pretty straightforward, but I think a three-year-old might be too young to be able to put this together. I'd recommend that anyone younger than six should have a parent help out, especially because of the stickers. That's how his face and cab details are applied. From experience, Lego stickers can be a bit tricky, but I've found if you match the curved window sticker to the curve of the arch, it made it quite easy to match them up. In the windows, you can spot some cute illustrations of mice at the controls and exploring Dustin's gears and wires. He also has a sticker face and a rear cab sticker that reads, Full of Scrap, Scrapyard. The personality and humor that is put into each zany train is always a plus. I'm sure parents playing trains with their kids will appreciate that too. One small but exciting element of the character is the Lego compatible chassis. Unlike the other Zany Train's characters, you can take Dustin apart piece by piece and make your own modifications to him. His unique chassis also allows you to build your own custom characters or vehicles from scratch. Overall, I'd say Rustin Dustin is a fun addition to the Zany Train's character roster with a creative twist. If you'd like to get a Rustin Dustin for yourself, you can find him on Amazon along with some of his other Zany friends too. I'll place a link in the description of this video if you'd like to see more for yourself. Please know, I am fully aware that I am not the target demographic for preschool toys, but I will say I have not been impressed with a lot of the things Mattel has made for Thomas and Friends in recent years. In 2015, things really started to go downhill. Then the introduction of Thomas Wood was an insult to the customer, and while the latest revamp of Wooden Railway was interesting, there are still some choices in the designs that completely bewilder me. The lasting charm and coherent vision of these classic toy designs has definitely fizzled out over the years. All right, release the Thomas. All right. Oh, we made it that time. What I like about Zany Trains is that they seem to be helmed by someone that wasn't totally impressed with the wooden trains that were currently on the market and wanted to create something to call their own. I really admire the level of effort commitment, and creativity that it took to get Zany Trains out into the world. So here's to Rustin Dustin, a sure sign that wooden railway trains might not be headed to the scrap heap, but well on their way to become something exciting and new. Can't have an enterprising engines video without a dog.